What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Art Bros Live painting stream. And today, as you can see, I'm wearing my black and white because we are going to be doing a value study tutorial. So um, yeah, basically over the weekend, I launched this new product. It's called 100 Study Prompts. And I'm actually going to be doing one of the study prompts from my book um, today as like a tutorial. If you're interested, you can check out the page. It's nickhajialsart.com slash 100 study prompts. And basically, um, as, as explained, it's 100 study prompts for art improvement, but also I've included some cool stuff like a how to start studying guide, a reference gathering guide and a checklist so you can kind of like monitor your progress. So the study prompt is find an image of a figure and do a study. Begin with a three value structure, shadow, midtone, and light, and then make a copy and integrate a five value structure, um, brighter light, darker shadow. Make a third copy and render the image to the best of your ability. Make sure you can identify and understand the light source of the figure that you are painting. So essentially the, the point of this is so that you can identify, more easily identify large shapes and sort of break them down as you go because that is the best way to approach a painting is to start big and go small instead of like starting with tiny little details. So I thought this was a really good reference to do because it's pretty easy to understand what the lighting scheme is. I set up a little um, lighting scenario. Um, I did this little tiny thumbnail sketch just to kind of like give myself an idea of how the lighting is probably set up. So obviously I didn't photograph this image, but we can infer based on how the cast shadows are laying, how the lighting is uh, is approached. And actually this is, this is another cast shadow. So we're seeing um, a cast shadow coming from the right and a cast shadow coming from the left, which tells me that there is two different light sources and I imagine it's like a studio lighting scenario like this. So if we're gonna break this down into a three value structure and a five value structure, I went ahead and also drew that out. So I, again, I was looking for like really dark darks and really bright brights and then anything in between is gonna be our midtones. Yeah, the blue lines are basically the dark shadows, the red lines are the midtones, and the yellow lines are the, the brightest whites find a good brush. So when I do value structure studies and paintings like this, and it's more like a block-in sort of study, obviously I like to have sort of a harder brush. So I'm gonna try something like this. Either this guy or this guy. Now let's go with the more rectangular one. This one sometimes leaves some weird edges, but it, um, it will still do the job of like giving me those like crisp shapes. Might do like a really loose line drawing just to kind of get the overall shape of the figure. And then underneath, we can start plopping our values. So I typically like to start with like the shadows first. So I'm gonna try to find, and we're working with three value structures, so I need to be conscientious of that. And what I might just do, in all honesty, is essentially make a palette for myself that I can just pick from. I'm very used to um, jumping right into blending and detail and stuff like that. But with this, we want a three value structure. So I'd probably say that that's like close to a shadow tone. We don't, with a three value structure, we don't want to go with the darkest dark in the, in the scene, because then when we jump to a five value structure, we still want to go a little bit more dark and a little bit more light, right? I'd maybe even say a mid tone could probably be more like that. And what's going to also help me guys is to tint my canvas somewhat of a brighter mid-tone so that when we push the white like it's visible and it's not just blending into the background that way now you'll see if i pick like a bright white it stands out there we go so 
there's our three value structure. And what might be useful is to just go ahead and make the five value structure as well. All we need to do is just pick a brighter white. We'll almost go like right to white. And what I think I'm gonna do actually, just for just because of the tones in this painting, I might add another mid-tone as opposed to a dark dark, because I think that this dark is pretty, like if I lay this under his, yeah, that's even maybe a little bit, no, I guess when we go to his hair, that's pretty close to the value of his hair. So let's add in a mid-tone in between these two lights, something like that. So if you guys see at my value structure down here, we've got like 16% black, 44%, 58%, 90%, and 97%. That looks pretty good compared to my reference. I am going to just lay in, I might just do this on top guys, honestly. Lay in my shapes as I see them. And the reason I feel like this type of study is so important is because a lot of, um, you know, more up and coming artists focus so much on tiny details first, um, it's hard for them to sort of like see the whole picture. And this is a really good way to like force yourself to look at big shapes first. So working like this is almost like posterizing your image to a certain extent. And it's really cool to see how such simplistic shapes will um, make your picture read as like a detailed image. I was working with a mentee a couple weeks ago and we were having this discussion and I found this reference on ArtStation. I forget who the artist is off the top of my head, but the really, really good artists can infer detail with like very limited brush strokes. And if you're able to master that, you're gonna be able to paint anything you want because now you're thinking in light as opposed to in like drawing. Cool. Alright, so that was the three value structure. We saved. Let's move on to five values. Make this guy a little bit more detailed. So I'm gonna try my best not to blend. So this darker value that I'm using is almost like the Terminator 
value. So on a sphere, that's like, here's the brightest bright, and here's the darkest dark. The Terminator is where the light meets the dark, right? And the Terminator, um, the Terminator is where you're gonna see the most texture, and also where you're going to see the most saturated colors and, and like the local color of the image. And I'm not painting with like a 100% hard brush. I'm still letting myself blend stuff very slightly, which I think is totally okay. And I think painting with a brush like this is going to help you emulate um, like actually painting a final piece a little bit more. I'd be worried if you painted with like a hard round brush or something like that, that um, it's almost like you're drawing shapes as opposed to considering like your, your uh, the heaviness of your hand when you're painting and like how basically you'd approach blending. So like, for example, with the shadow area, like I'm gonna lightly kind of lay this into there so that the shape, the, the brush stroke still blends a little bit, but I'm still keeping the initial color value that I chose. So I've only just begun, but you'll see how much more detail I'm already getting with the five value structure compared to the three value structure. value structure, our five value structure, and the last one is going to be detailing, just making this look like a pretty, pretty image. And I'm still going to try to focus on keeping my values more limited and just focus on blending these shapes together than going in and being super like animal about tiny, tiny, tiny
Ethan's arm is right in the foreground, so I really want to make sure that it is correct and detailed. It's nice. There's a lot of nice like musculature going on here, which is like fun to study for me. And I think I'm finished with this. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Let me just zoom this out so that you guys can see the three, five, and detail structures. So yeah, I hope uh, I hope this helped you guys. And again, if you haven't checked out the 100 study prompts for art improvement workbook, um, that's on my website, nickhadrialisart.com slash 100 study prompts. And um, yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys hanging around um, for the whole time and watching me paint. I hope you learned something. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Perfect.